Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're playing the role of plumbers and coffee machine specialists and we're going to be changing those two vacuum breakers which are leaking. Thank you to everyone tuning in Jumper Man Tech. So we just got to move a couple of things out of the way so we can change those two vacuum breakers and make things nice. Let's move some of these cups out the way and this coffee machine. This one, maybe we could just move it to the side a little bit just so we get a little space, but we got to get back there. All right, so we definitely made some space here. We should be able to get to this and rebuild it. Also, the water is coming down here and I can see the two valves are right there with the yellow handle. They are actually already closed because this thing was leaking. So let's go ahead and get started. Mm, I got a little bit of free play here. No screws are loose, honestly. That's why. Let's get rid of this for a second. Alright. Let's get rid of this. So we got the space to cut, press, and do everything. I'm in a hotel lobby right now, so... I don't think they're going to want us lighting a torch in here. And I'd rather use that as well. This looks super ugly. It's not even matching, but it is what it is. Let's put this to the side. Let's get started. And what's funny is that we're actually going to get this all out. We're going to replace this sink. This thing just, well, the water's closed here as well. It just keeps dripping. So we're going to get rid of this because they don't use it. And we're going to put in a bigger sink. Just trying to see what's the best route to go here. To be honest, I might be able to reuse this. We could just press it to make it all look uniform. Let's take, let's take this off real quick. Do I need to hold back? Nope. So got compression fitting here. So I think this is three eighths. Compression to half inch thread for that vacuum breaker. All right, this is done. And water already went down. I got a little bit of play on here. What I could do is maybe hold back here and spin this thing off. I need a pipe wrench for that. See if this works. And it does. Mm, you know what? I might need to take this out first. Once I got the space, let's, let's see. Gotta be careful with these pipes. It's a bit tight in here. Let me put this, oh, it's making it worse. Maybe flip that around. Anyways, let's see if we can spin this off with that fitting on there. And we can. Or we just cut it out to be honest. So we either keep that, keep it and leave that with some new Teflon, or we just press this whole thing in. Here's our new vacuum breaker for this one. What I'm thinking is might be a little tough to get rid of that nut. I need a puller or whatever. Or you could just shut up you know, cut it and pull it out, but whatever. I'm just gonna cut this a little bit. We do have to be above the coffee machine. This does have to be set up in a proper way. But anyways, you're gonna be all right. Let's, cut, let's just cut this thing out. Let's do all new fresh connections. I think it's so rusted. You're gonna be there forever. Instead of struggling, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep all my fittings beforehand, tighten everything. And at the end, just press everything on. And the only thing that I'm going to tighten is that compression fitting. All right, so I got all my fittings here that we're going to need. Might need a little bit of piece of pipe too. So got this male adapter here. I'm going to press it on. Got a female adapter. And that's going to connect to this one where it's compression 3 8 to half inch thread. Those two are going to go together. And this is good, and I'm gonna go in and out of our 
valve, which is threaded on both ends, half inch. And we're gonna use the elbow to make that curve because that looks terrible and it's not uniform with the other one. I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut this here as well, just so everything is nice, neatly pressed, and it looks like matching. Cut this off so it's the least amount cut off as we can possibly can do. And I want to make this thing nice because my old CD is kicking in if I leave that. If we do have slack; it's fine. So let's cut this out, prep everything, press it on. This is actually it really shouldn't be too bad. Far as here, just gonna sand down the edges of these pipes so everything is nice and clean. Okay, on both sides. And afterwards, I'm gonna deburr the inside and the outside of the pipes with a deburring tool. Got Christian putting in some work right now, cutting out these pipes. We already got this piece that was out. It's gonna be a big difference when we're done. Got this prepped. All of these have Teflon tape or whatever. I put this on here. So I'm just gonna tighten these all down. So in the end, all I need to do is press it and just tighten the compression fitting. About this one is that you have a, actually have a place to hold back. So it is what it is. Definitely a lot better. Like that, you just squeeze it together and let's tighten up all the threads so then we could just press in. You don't want to be doing that in that tight space. All right, all right. That's an idea of what this is going to look like. What's important is that this stays above here, so it's pretty much the same height. We could just shrink this a bit and get it going. But look how close it is to this. When I rebuild this one, we're not going to have space. We're going to be off a little bit. So what I got to do is cut this pipe back and shift it over shift this pipe over a little bit this way this one we can you know we can play with but this one i need to move it a few inches let's uh build it out let's see what i need all right so definitely things crossing up i could probably make it work but i want to make it look nice so if anything i can move this pipe cut it and move it back let's see how many inches i need to move this back all right, so I'm just gonna cut this back, move this machine as much as I really could. So I'm gonna cut this out and shrink this back so it goes that way. And Christian got all this out. I got a pipe cut here. These valves are so bad, it's very difficult to close it. They don't know where the water is, so I'm actually just gonna press on new valves right there when we do the sink. But let's focus here. Take that out. Let's cut this out so this looks nice. Let's set this up. All right, guys. Once we straighten everything out, we're gonna have space between these two, and everything is gonna be level. What I did is shorten it up, put a coupling there, cut it up, and that's what's gonna give us our dist proper distance. Just gonna make everything neat. And it's gonna look really nice. All right, guys. Let's start pressing this up. Pretty easy. Get that out of our way. Everything was prepped by sanding it down. Make sure that's in all the way. You could use a marker. Make sure it's good. Let's get this in here properly. Make sure it's in there. Straight. Okay. Okay. Now all of this. Just make sure this is straight. When I press it, make sure it's in its place. And this is gonna be uniform. Okay, okay, next. All right, this one you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's all the way in and you adjust this according to this. Let's get it on there. Make 
make the adjustments. Right there looks good. Okay, this tool is super heavy. Next, make sure everything is all the pipes all the way in. be that that's a beautiful thing and we just gotta cut this pipe accordingly make everything nice and neat and use the compression do the same thing on this side make sure it's all the way in there this is even and when this goes it will look good okay oh i pressed it better off just finishing it this one doesn't matter oh, angle okay as far as this I get out the way a little bit or bring it down whatever let's get this in there make sure that's gonna be straight this okay sometimes it gets stuck okay that's what I'm talking about all right two more make sure everything's in Pressing here is done. Pressed on some valves over here too. You can see this is open now. This is closed and it's holding. Sanded it down. The bird inside and outside. And that's a beautiful thing. These are so rusty, they're so hard to open and close. Now you got this new handle. This is gonna be real nice. Set up, getting set up for that drain. Excuse me. For the sink. And I just gotta finish up over here. These two compression fittings this is gonna look nice and straighten everything out with the hangers. We're gonna put this in first. Then we're gonna put in our thread. I'm sorry, we put in our little cap here and this little bead in between. And what I'm gonna do is actually put a little bit of pipe dope. Let's get this going again, because it fell. So we're gonna put in our nut. Then we're gonna put in this piece here that we're gonna compress. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pipe dope on it. All right, let's see if plumber's doing that. We're gonna stick the pipe inside all the way. Okay. And we're just gonna tighten this down. And that will be the end of our compression fitting. Just tighten this down a little bit. You don't gotta go crazy. That's pretty much how you connect the compression fitting. It's really easy. Just don't go crazy. Just get it a little bit more than snug and you should be good. Okay. And this thing really, I don't know what's going on. This thing really got stuck in there. This thing came out beautiful. We just gotta adjust the heights, give it some support, but man, 
This looks great. All right, everyone. That right there is a beautiful thing. Definitely better than all these weird connections. We got all brass, everything lead free. So they're gonna be good for this coffee machine. All right, guys, this thing is all done here. Also, here's that sink. Just gotta add some support hangers. But man, does that look nice. No leaks. I think it's pretty cool. Everything came, I had to assemble everything, faucet and all that stuff, and ooh, that water is definitely high, it's just steaming. And then we got no leaks. That right there, this beautiful thing. All right guys, that's the finished product. This thing looks awesome. Just straining right into there. And I also put up some hangers. This thing looks absolutely phenomenal. That's awesome. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as we come out with new videos every week. I'll catch you all next time.